Tough girl. Okay. So, our whole concept of time is being reordered because uh, this, the way that we've been living, like with the calendar and the number of hours in a day and the clock and whatever, this is actually an unnatural system. The organic timing is cosmic timing and it's the timing with the cycles of nature. So, we are being, while we're in this cocooning phase, uh, our whole sense of timing is being deprogrammed at a cellular level. That's why we're also having confusion about like what day of the week is. It? Nobody can like really keep track of it accurately. It's just like I don't know what day it is. I don't yeah, know. I pulled you know? the card for this month on what I should focus on. You know which card it was. Mm. Sisters of the seasons. Yeah. So on a on a DNA level, on a cellular level, we're being time is being changed. Our perception of it. So, again, like this, this virus, it's it has a, it's gonna come. I feel like in two waves. The first wave, which we're going through right now, and I don't know. According to astrologers, and that it's going to ease up uh, in June. And I feel like um, there'll be a period where it it does have a sort of the curve goes down and things seem to be kind of like leveling out globally. Things seem to be coming more into stability. Not that our activity is going to just go back to normal and everyone out emerging in the world willy-nilly, no. But there will come a second, uh, a second cycling of the coronavirus globally, but it's not going to be as uh, intense as the first and it's almost like she needs to do uh, a, a, another cyclical journey just to uh, make sure that anybody who needed the coding that wasn't picked up in the first round gets the coding that that is required to upgrade the consciousness. Or again, as the the portal for any souls that have completed their cycles or wish to... Uh, incarnate in in, in a different dimension or space and reality to go like the exit the doorway for them to exit so she's gonna do one more soup and I, I I somehow feel like September for some reason feels like a, a re-emergence of the mm, the virus again the second cycle um now they are just watching the news and they're projecting that for the next year there'll still be a lot of hypervigilance um around um, precautionary me uh, measures and it's not going to just be like life back to normal everyone's just jumping out going back to work and just picking up where we left off uh and again this this almost like an entire year needs to go by but it's not so much the Gregorian calendar year, it has to do with the, a cycling, a cosmic and earth cycling system that requires enough time for us to recalibrate our, our, our perception and our experience of time on the DNA level. So it's plugging us back into the truth about what time is. So, so that also, um, if you think about, uh, uh, the way that we work with time now, which is so linear. And uh, for example, you plant seeds in the springtime. And if you're unable to do that for whatever reason, it's not like you can just pick up, you know, say in the fall and decide, right, now we weren't able to, to, to do it in the spring. So we're going to start planting our crops in the fall. It just doesn't work like that. So by the time this corona cycle has completed, we will be unable to just pick up the systems uh, that we've left behind. They will be broken beyond um, self. They, they just won't be, be able to salvage them. And this is a wonderful opportunity to create totally new systems, new paradigms, um, for how humanity are, it's gonna is gonna continue, how economies, how industries, how education, everything, how you know this is, yeah, we're not gonna be able to go back. It's like finished. 
um, just because the timing doesn't work anymore. So I was curious and confused about what, what does a new timing paradigm mean or look like? And I just got the sense that right now our understanding of time it's like distance. Time is the, the space, the distance between one point and another. Yeah, or, or even between one item and another item. That distance is, distance is what, we, what we call time. Space is what we, you know. But this distance has been collapsing. Everything's coming back into the one unified point, the zero point consciousness or whatever. I don't even really know what that means, but this is the, the sense I get. And it's a collapsing of time to that singularity point exactly that's why time has been speeding up and the the true the true uh nature of what we say time it's it's a single moment it's presence that's the only thing that exists and all the timelines are condensing and collapsing into almost like one um there's, it's almost like a distilling, if you like, you know, like a, uh, if you imagine like an octopus with many tentacles and then it's undergoing a metamorphosis and it's, it's pulling back the tentacles from, mm -hmm. there are certain parallel timelines or whatever, if you like, that are being, the fractals are being pulled back into the singularity and there's only going to be one moment present moment now what does that mean for day to day like how do you create if all you're living is present moment how do you how do you plan and what do you number one the things you you create from presence are very different from the things you create from like a scarcity mentality or like oh we need to do this for reserves or uh, a system you, you understand what i mean like the Everything mostly that we've been creating is coming from a lack consciousness, you know, this overproduction. You don't create what you need. You create you from you excess need. because of a, a, a lack of um, spiritual connection. You, you, know, you know what I mean? Like you're filling a void where, where you're not sustained by, by connection and you're not... A species is not sustained by connection and by sustenance from trust, surrender. It has to over plan and over hoard and over, you know, consume. But when we come into that abundance zero point, our, we produce what is needed and we know the measure of enoughness. And that includes measure of activity. We are, we are too like the human being is not our activity is meant to have a a boundary of serving something do you understand what i mean it's not just doing 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 and not being you know and this is what our modern societies have just become obsessed with busyness for the sake of and we're creating nonsense you know what i mean we're not even creating we just it's nonsense you know so there's going to be a lot more like downtime but in that time we're not supposed to feel like uh it, it shouldn't produce an anxiety like oh god like i'm in i'm not productive i'm inactive what am i doing no in that's the time of devotion to receiving life like we're supposed to be like taking life in looking at the sky, taking nature in, each other, the bird, taking care of our health, like, you know, like, the expression of just life force, this is what we're supposed to be doing, not just working to sustain something, you know? So, and also with, with that, when there is enough space and receptivity, the creative capacity of humanity is just going to go through the roof because you become like open channels when there's that much space in the cells, in the DNA, you know, like the almost. And then it's like the things that we are creating, it's so potent, like, and it's such 
incredible ideas that come through. And so when people go to create, it's with such purpose, you know what I mean? Like, they're so present and there's no, how can I put this? It's like, they just get it done, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, things don't take a long time to evolve in present time creation, you know what I mean? Like, whereas in this other linear time, things need process, you know what I mean? They need, they need time to develop science needs time to research time to test time to where's this other thing it's just like it's almost the creations just come in such integrity like you know like it's already complete like full in yeah it's a whole other way of doing things and it's so clean and efficient and it's it's incredible but it's all also linked again to this concept of time and space and the collapsing of this this is this moment that we're living in the collapsing of of time ain't that cool bit of a mind fuck innit innit